Welcome to the Life Success and Legacy Podcast. We're glad you're here, and we hope you enjoy the episode. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on another Life Success Legacy website podcast. Excuse me. Um, I am Mike Crawford, and obviously not Chris Bay, and as eloquent as he is at introductions. However, I am joined today with a very special guest, Mike Kwong. How are you, Mr. Kwong? Hello, Mike. Very happy to be here. Good, good. Yeah. Hey, so some of you may remember Mr. Kwong and uh, Pei from back in 2019 when we did an interview uh, with the both of them about their journey to finding not only infinite banking, um, but also the Life Success and Legacy team. Um, and if I remember correctly, Mike, you guys actually did find us via the podcast. Is that right? That's right. I remember, um, you know, we were on a road trip. We, we love road trips, my wife, Pei and I, and she's like a fanatic with podcasts. Um, so we were listening through the podcast and she came across, you know, Life, Success and Legacy. And we started listening to a whole bunch and it just made sense. You know, I mean, it was, you know, something that we were looking for um, and we decided, you know, we'd reach out and contact you guys. We did. We started, you know, talking um, and, you know, became clients very soon. Awesome. Yeah. And, and, you know, so one of the things that I've always been interested in, um, uh, the life success and legacy podcast has always been pretty low key. Um, and, uh, you know, the fact that you guys found us sort of earlier on, we've been doing this since late, uh, 2016, but like those podcasts were not necessarily as hard hitting as some of our newer ones where we've gone into a lot more detail. We've walked through the entire, um, becoming your own banker book, but one of the things like, how did your background um, and, and, you know, where, where you were at that time lead you to life success and legacy, um, even just on a podcast level, how did you think to search for that? Were you already looking? Well, yeah, actually, you know, um, you mentioned, you know, 2019 when the podcast came out, uh, we were still new clients with life success and legacy, but back up a few years, even prior to that, back in 2013 is when, you know, uh, we learned about the infinite banking concept. Okay. And, you know, back then I was still in the Navy uh, in Hawaii. And, you know, I was like, man, this is awesome. And it's like they say, right, IBC is caught, not taught. Mm -hmm. So I knew I had to find out more about it, get started with it. But I didn't have, you know, any resources. I mean, back then there was really scant, you know, stuff on IBC, especially online. So I hunted down, you know, all these insurance people on island in Hawaii and came across, you know, uh, one of the big four uh, and signed up, you know, our policies. But we didn't get started. You know, it took a while uh, because I was still, you know, transitioning out. Um, it wasn't until we actually left Hawaii and came to Texas and took that, you know, road trip and came across the podcast that we engaged you guys. Um, and, you know, I mean, it really turned it around for us because it was like, Having uh, the policies is one thing, but like Nelson says, it's it's what you do with it. It's it's a practice, you know, almost a way of life that you know matters. Uh, so once we learned from you know the coaching about how to apply the principles and to really put them in motion and take advantage of what we already had set up, it took it to the next level and it allowed us to do a lot of really cool things. So that's super cool. Um, so at that time, you were researching infinite banking on the island. Um, you yeah. were you were exiting the military, correct? Uh, yeah. um, and uh, so tell us your journey back to Texas, a little bit mm -hmm. about your family and kind of where you were at that time researching infinite banking. Like, what were you doing? Yeah, so I remember, you know, coming out of the tail end of my, you know, my service, I was uh, looking for other things, obviously, and um you know, had always been interested in investing, you know, mm -hmm. or, or in passive income streams, you know, and, and of course you think of investing. So, I mean, early on, even before the military, we invested in real estate. We bought, you know, one and two bedrooms, condos, uh, single families, mm -hmm. did it, you know, traditionally um, just ourselves, you know, sweat equity and all mm -hmm. that. And that's fine for what it is, but, you know, Ultimately, when you become a landlord, uh, there's problems that come up, you know, headaches, expenses, roofs, toilets, bad tenants, all the <laughs> lot. So we knew that wasn't where we wanted to end up, you know. Um, so then I also, you know, learned about, you know, the stock market um, and options trading back in Hawaii, of all things. 
a lot of what I've learned was kind of self-taught, you know, and I paid mm -hmm. a lot of tuition, you know, giving back money to the market you know, on bad trades, but you, you do what you can do, right? When you don't have a coach, uh, don't have any way um, to, to learn otherwise, but that's what I found different with, with IBC once we got it started. Um, again, you know, it's what you do with it. And um, when we got, um, you know, engaged with you guys, we turned around like a whole bunch of debt that we had built up, you know, um, you, through the software and, and it just allowed us to, you know, understand that what we can do with it um, really is not limited. Um, so over time, you know, we also learned about uh, like TARDIS or, or the snowball. Yep. And, and, you know, this is just a system of moving your capital and your money yep. in a way that allows you to leverage, you know, money short term. OK, through a line of credit, let's say, and then to purchase long term amortized income that compounds over time. That's yeah. as simple as I can say it. Yeah. But IBC really mm -hmm. makes it so much better the way it works. And it's been an interesting, you know, I'll say uh, marriage between IBC and TARDIS in terms of your role even, right? Like, you know, in 2019, when that interview um, with you and uh, Pay came out, you were just an associate agent doing your own thing. You even had a business, I think, and you yeah. may still have that business. I apologize. But I know that you had that business and you were working on all that stuff. So you were sort of just learning and if you had clients that came your way you might have sent them to us to assist in the education process um but now all of a sudden things have changed a little bit yeah absolutely and in those seminal stages like I said you know if i had like a close friend or a family member uh someone that i had a relationship with and and you know i sh i would share ibc uh -huh. with because i mean it's just if you had a great restaurant you know and, and you knew about it you you'd be happy to tell whoever right yeah so it was at that level of informality and, and it was ones and twos coming through. Sure. But um, around that same time, too, is when we started, you know, Income Snowball and, you know, um, understanding that there's a lot you can do with it. And and people that we met there, you were like, oh, I've heard of IBC. Yeah. Um, how does it work? And then really, I I, I just kept sharing is all mm -hmm. it was. It, it just went to the next level because more people were catching on to it. And it was really great because like you mentioned, we had a, a business before. Okay. And actually, you know, when we got to Texas, we opened a college franchise business completely from the funds in our, in our policies. Oh so my. it was like, we didn't need a business plan, you know, go to the bank. That's with crazy. Our it was great. You know, I mean, it was a franchise and, you know, my wife jokes, it's like, you know, I was tired of working nine to five. So I quit my job and opened my own business. And now I work 24 seven, yep. you know, you, you literally <laughs> kind of buy a job and, and yep. <clears throat> yeah, it was great because we learned a lot about, you know, college planning. We have a high school daughter now she's about mm -hmm. to get ready for applications, but we realized too, you know, we didn't want to do that forever. Yeah. Uh, and again, it was just trading time for money, time for money. We weren't leveraging our, you know, our capital and our money like uh, otherwise. So. Yeah. And so like, basically <laughs> like your relationship with the folks um, within the TARDIS community um, yeah. and your your um, communication and education and just talking about it kind of led you to be sort of a go-to in-between expert, right? Between both TARDIS and IBC. Yeah, that's right. You know, <laughs> because you, know, you have folks that have been doing IBC, you know, for, for a while. You have other folks that are doing, you know, TARDIS or the income snowball. And at first blush, they seem kind of different in the sense that with the snow, with with IBC, you know, it's slow. Lo, think long term. Mm -hmm. You know, your capital builds over time, tax free, and that's great. You you like leave a legacy. Yep. Whereas the TARDIS mindset is really about monthly cash flow, monthly cash flow. Right. And however, the important thing that we discovered was that the principles are still the same. Yep. You know, leverage. Okay, the directionality of your interests. Um, the nature of, of the loans and, and the leverage and between the products um, is what really underpins it. And so when we started building our snowball, you know, we were actually quickly able to, um, you know, replace our, our teaching incomes because yeah. that, that's another thing we were teaching while we had the college planning business. So right. we've been pretty busy, but when we realized that, you know, it's just leveraging your money to work for you um, that freed up time and, that's actually when I started writing about the process that we've gone through and the book that I'm coming out with soon. All right. Yeah. I want to get to that in just a second. I want to 
one of the things I'd like to wrap up with like this bridge between TARDIS and um, infinite banking is it sort of is a blend of both worlds, right? A lot of people that are in that are, that want to do something with their money don't want it to just sit around. And and IBC doesn't let it sit around. We move it, we use it, but it grows at a slow, steady, guaranteed rate. Whereas with TARDIS, you kind of get the other end of the world where you get a little more acceleration, a little more hands-on. It happens sort of like on a month-by-month -month basis at a quicker or more accelerated rate. So if you're willing and able to learn the methodologies, like in between both, you can actually put your money to work in multiple ways inside of the system, and it actually just continues to churn. Am I am I kind of hitting that the right way? You know what? You're absolutely mm -hmm. right on. You know because ultimately there's the funding side of the equation where mm -hmm. you leverage your capital short time, you know, with the yeah. line of credit to go out and purchase, you know, steady regular, you know, income that you basically would compound and compound over yep. again. So these two pieces, we saw an opportunity with IBC where if you need a bank for a line of credit, well, there's nothing better than your own line of credit through your policies, cash values, right? So we started that way. And that was fantastic because now we took ownership of 50% of that, you know, uh, of the equation. Yeah. And then, you know, with, with the snowball, you know, you could invest in a whole number of different things, whether it's, you know, realty or, you know, mortgage notes, peer-to-peer -peer mm -hmm. lending. But we found that the, the one most secure um, source of income for us was to actually purchase our own debt. OK. Yep. And, uh, you know, there, there's a, quite a bit to it. But sure. In a yeah. nutshell, we, we were able to figure out that you can take control of both sides of that snowball you know, equation. And when you do that, you know, uh, it's it's an amazing thing. It's a super powerful tool. Yeah. So. Going back to your book now, like, you know, you've been on <clears throat> an incredible journey since you left the military, you know, um, you've moved back, to, you moved back to Texas, you yeah. uh, started teaching again, you yeah. opened up a college career thing, you started investigating IBC, you started, um, you know, writing a book, now you're into TARDIS, you have quite a bit, how big is this book? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think with the final copy, it'll be about a hundred plus pages, not all too right. big. That's all you right. Know? And and the purpose really was, you know, and I write about it, was to just put down some notes for our daughter, you know, oh. because we've done a lot of things and we made a lot of mistakes, but, you know, we did have a few things that did work. Uh, and it really went down to, you know, setting up a proper IV system, mm -hmm. right? And, and, you know, getting a snowball or some passive income going through that system. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of great books out there. Obviously, there's one behind me, the yeah. Bible, right? Everyone's got to get a copy and read, becoming your own banker. Yeah. Uh, but there's there's only a few other books. And, and I wanted this one, though, to be a little different in the sense that it was really applicable uh, because it was our own personal experience. And, and there were real steps that you can take mm -hmm. you know, to get started. Um, and, and again, I, I try to write it through my own voice because... Going back to teaching, that's really been my passion. No matter all the things that we've been through, real estate, stock stuff, teaching was it, you know, but I knew that it wasn't necessarily teaching in, you know, little kids at public school, which was yeah. fine. But I, I get to do that today, you know, as a coach. And, and I really enjoy that because it's about, you know, the topic of IBC and, and talking yeah. to people directly, you know, at my level or, you know, and mm -hmm. it's been great. So that's awesome. And I think like this is a great segue for me to talk a little bit more about your family. Obviously, you said you wrote this book for your daughter, yeah. uh, Jackie. And um, I was actually re-listening to the podcast from 2019. And at that time, if I remember correctly, you said she was 10 years old. It seems insane to me that yeah. it, just a couple, three, four years ago, and now all of a sudden you have a child who is prepping themselves for college. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your daughter and your family? Because sure. your story, like even just a recent trip she took is insane to me. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> I, I grew up with what I think, you know, a lot of would, would consider the American dream. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, I was born in the Philippines. Okay. Uh, I learned English, you know, in kindergarten um, and went through public schools in Florida where what, my family came up and then you know, I went to college in, in New England, you know, fancy private school. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I was able to go to, you know, graduate school. I went to law school um, and then to learn Chinese. I went into the military uh -huh. of all things, decided soon that I didn't want to go back to law. So with the training there, you know, when I was working for the NSA, um, I was also learning about finance. And that's when I was, you know, 
learning about stocks and always interested in, in yeah. uh, learning more. But, um, you know, even throughout that time, I didn't mention, but I mean, back in before the military, my wife and I, we had a laundromat we bought. Um, yeah. We had a food truck while we were in Hawaii, my wife had opened. So we were always very entrepreneurial. Yeah. And uh, which is great, you know, yeah. but it takes a lot of energy. Yeah. And um, ultimately, you know, we wanted our money to work for us. Right. And that's kind of a sub theme of that book, you know, because okay. as I say, your money never sleeps. It doesn't mm. complain. It doesn't quit. It doesn't sue you, you know, um, <laughs> and uh, it's it's just a great thing that you can leverage once you learn how to do it. But uh, it takes time and, it, you know, and a good coach always helps. Yeah, absolutely. And has um has Jackie read your book? Actually, she has. And she yeah. she there's actually a graph in there. I'll I informally call it the Jackie graph because you know it's her idea. She's like, awesome. Dad, why don't you explain, you know, the leveraging of this of, of the notes this way? And um it's been really fun and and just a learning experience for me and, and just to be able to you know do that together for you know for her and, and now hopefully share that whole message with everyone. I'm really excited. No, that is really awesome. I think like, <clears throat> you know, all of the things we've talked about um, kind of lead up to the, the, the reason that we're even doing this interview is that officially you are uh, one of our core team members on the Life Success Legacy team. You know, we've always been a pretty uh, lean team. Um, you know, there are uh, four, now five of us on the core team that, you know, all work from wherever. Um, you're in Texas. They're um, Mike. Um, Everett, Chris Bay, and myself live in Lawrence, but you know we don't even see each other that often. And then Shelley Forbes lives up in north um, Northwest Missouri, and so it's kind of an interesting crew. You know, when I tell people about our team, but um, you know, your journey from the associate agent, you know, just three years ago to now being a core team member has been quite the wild ride. Um, I think that. One of the things that I think about a lot about our team is we we have a lot of different um, unique abilities. And Chris Bay will say this word a lot if you ever listen to him yeah. talk, right? And yeah. um, sometimes I roll my eyes because it's a little kumbaya for me. But um, you know, ultimately, when when Mike and Chris presented the idea of you joining the team, I don't think Shelley or I could have um, voiced our you know support any faster because of what we consider your unique ability. Um, and, uh, you know, not to put you too much on the spot, but if you want to dive into that just a little bit and kind of brush around the edges about, you know, what your unique ability has been. Well, I mean, you know, and it's still evolving and I'm still trying to figure it out. But from, you know, what I understand, I mean, as I mentioned, I, I've gone through, you know, quite a few things um, and been in, a, you know, in a, quite a few different uh, investments and experiences, um, you know, real estate in, in the um, financial world. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I also went through a lot of school, you know, and mm -hmm. I joke in the book, uh, all that I've learned in school with three graduate degrees of all things, uh, what we actually practice day to day that my professors didn't teach us, you know, I mean, it really is something special. Uh, but as far as unique ability, I like to think, you know, and it's said all the time thinking outside the box, mm -hmm. but, um, I, I, I like to see how. IBC can apply to different areas that tr aren't traditionally thought of, you know, when you think of IBC, mm -hmm. um, such as, you know, the, the income, uh, passive income flows. In, uh, and I, I think that uh, I can kind of speak the language to a lot of these, yep. you know, folks that are more entrenched in the traditional financial world, you know, with uh, the stock markets and securities, equities and um, bring it back to what's important with, you know, the policies, securities, and IBC. So, and again, I love to teach. I mean, mm -hmm. Chris is a principal for so many years, and I'm yeah. still learning from him. You yeah. know, I'm a terrible Luddite with technology, so you're awesome. To say <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and Shelly's got the most grace of anyone, you know, that I know. She truly does. And, and just, you know, smoothing feathers over. So yeah. I'm still finding my place, but uh, I've been really excited to be part of that team. Yeah, absolutely. We're we're very thrilled to um, you know, to have welcomed you to the team, you know, and I think that when I thought about this interview, um, one of the things that I kind of got excited about in general was like in so many ways, you know, Mike Everett is the founder, right? You know, he absolutely. he has been out in the trenches, let's say, since yeah. you know, um, 
for almost 17 years, I believe, it's at the time of this recording. And um, his experience and his ability to to talk IBC is maybe unparalleled, right? Yeah, so absolutely. the rest of us are bringing a different skill set, a skill set that he maybe doesn't either um, want to tackle or a skill set that is necessary in order for the team to be successful. And and for us, we don't measure success in terms of dollars and cents necessarily. We measure success in the in the terms of how successful our clients are with their money. And we get more excited on our team meetings on Mondays when we find a solution that we can present to that family. And, you know, even to circle back to you is like when you said earlier, you know, when you put your information in the software and you guys were able to pay off a bunch of debt and yeah. get your ball, you know, moving and then take that money and reinvest it in other oh. things that you could use. Yes. Uh, you know, the power of IBC is really something, but to, to kind of circle back to your unique ability, I think one of the things that when I get really excited about our team in general is, you know, as you already mentioned, Shelly's grace, like she's just so patient. Chris is such yeah. an educator. Mike is, you know, the founder and just the, the lifeblood of IBC. <clears throat> but I think like a person like you brings in an element of extra savvy and the ability to bridge a gap between the noise that we hear in the world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And bridge it into infinite banking. You know, I used to work in the automotive world and I always told people I had to be able to bridge the gap between the technician and the customer. And, you know, I had to explain to them maybe what a timing belt was. Well, nobody really cares what a timing belt does, but they have to understand that it is an, a vital function or That's right. a part of your engine. Right. So you do that with clients when you can explain the bridges between TARDIS and IBC. Um, you've done that when you can bridge the gap between traditional investing and infinite banking. And the best part is, is that I think you can you 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 have the language to do it in an eloquent way that actually feels good. Like you know, when you tell us something, like when you tell a client something, I think they're listening because they they know you're not talking down to them. And that's a very, that is a very hard thing to accomplish. So we're very glad that you're a part of the team for a multitude of reasons, but that one specifically for me stuck out. Oh, well, I really appreciate that. That, uh, I, I, I can't tell you how much I love you guys and I yeah. appreciate the mentorship, your patience with me and, and pay, <laughs> you know, because we, you know, as a team, um, and I've just been, you know, as, as Chris jokes, and it's kind of no joke, it's been the longest interview process, but it's been, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's been so worth it. And, and just being able to, again, provide value to the, to the clients and the families first uh, and to, you know, have that relationship for life. Yeah. Uh, it's a special thing that I wouldn't trade for anything. So yeah, thank absolutely. You. Yeah. Thank you. No, I think, you know, um, we are, we are lean and mean, but I'll tell you the, the addition of, of you to the team really has felt like it's been a really good rounding of, of the, the team, you know, um, giving us that extra um, piece of knowledge and expertise that maybe we lacked in a different way. And so we're, we're really glad that you're a part of the team. Um, is there, is there anything else that you want um, the clients to know about? Maybe we'll put some information in the, um, in the show notes about like where to get your book and information like that. Is there anything you want to kind of, you know, send them off with? Well, you know, as a lifelong learner, I mean, first of all, of course, keep learning. We, we never stop obviously. And we wouldn't be good coaches if we did, but my book should be coming out hopefully next month and you'll be, it, you know, it'll be available on Amazon and we'll put it up on the LSL site as well. So, you know, read everything you can, you know, and, and ask questions, always ask questions. There's not a dumb question. Please reach out to myself or Mike or anyone on the team. Uh, don't be shy. I mean, really, we'll meet you wherever you are, you know, nowadays through Zoom, that works. Um, but keep learning, you know, keep at it and, and believe that, you know, there's better coming, you know, you just got to get Have those. Hope. Yep. All right. Well, yeah. So as he mentioned, his book will be coming out. Um, September oh, of 2022, it, yeah. Um, yeah. just to kind of date this podcast here. Um, and then what's it called? It's called Dibs on Your Money. Dibs, Dibs on Your Money. Dibs is the money. acronym for Dynamic Income Banking System. So just like you have dibs, like you have control that you got first go. It's kind of a play on words. And, and I think uh, 
I'm excited to put it out. So. That's super clever. I like it. Yes. And as soon as it's available, you'll see it on the Life Success and Legacy website where you can get a copy of it along with all the other books that we have available, Becoming Your Own Banker, which is obviously a very massive book to purchase if you don't have it. The Case for IBC, I also see there behind you. That's an excellent yep, yep. book. And uh, we also have Chris Bay's book on there as well. So please take a look at all that. If you need more information, um, please check out lifesuccesslegacy.com. We have a bunch of free information on there, downloads, et cetera, along with the books that we sell for, you know, um, giving you that education that you that you will need in order to fight the wind current and also mm -hmm. to fight the noise that we have in right. the world. And so um, if you want to reach out to Mike, you can find him on our website, lifesuccesslegacy.com, and you'll see him under the team tab and um, go check it out. Listen to his previous podcast um, that was from 2019, um, where he and Pei talk a little bit about themselves, their family, and where they've been. And um, Mike, we're just really glad you're part of the team and uh, look forward to the future. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate that. All you right. Too. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next podcast. Bye.